Let's look at a sample of sulfur atoms in some form, and we're going to trap them in 22 liters, about a quarter atmosphere of pressure, and about 546 Kelvin. The question I have for you is, what's the form of sulfur? Is it sulfur atoms, S2 dimers, or S8? Think about that for a minute and make a selection. Let's look at a possible explanation for each of the answers. A, it's atomic sulfur, so we must have the formula S. B, diatomics are more favorable at high temperatures, so we should have S2. Or C, there's one quarter of the STP pressure and twice the STP temperature, so one eighth the particles must be in the sample. Think about those three and make another selection. We're talking about a mole of sulfur particles. Now, if I have a mole of particles at 22 liters, one atmosphere of pressure, and 273, those three variables make sense. One mole, 22 liters, one atmosphere, and 273 all agree with the ideal gas law. But I didn't have one atmosphere of pressure in my sample. I only had a quarter atmosphere of pressure. Well, how can you have that mole of particles give you a quarter atmosphere of pressure? You can't. You have to have fewer particles. So that means to get to a quarter of atmosphere, what I'd have to do is have the particles in groups of four. That would give me one-fourth the particles and one-fourth the pressure. Now, in this sample, the temperature was also twice the standard temperature. How do I get a factor of two in temperature and stay at a quarter of the pressure and 22 liters? Well, I have to go to groups of eight particles. So the ideal gas law makes sense if that mole of particles is in groups of eight. I have one eighth of a mole of particles, one mole of sulfur atoms, but one eighth of a mole of particles exerting a quarter atmosphere of pressure at 546 Kelvin in 22 liters obeys the ideal gas law. So those particles must be in groups of eight. The correct answer here, S8.